cortex by any means necessary. Copy that. Anything you want to say before I pull this trigger? Might want to fasten your seatbelt. scenario became clear a secret contingency plan was set in motion to safeguard the future of the human species a decommissioned space station was covertly retrofitted to serve as a self-sustaining orbital sanctuary for a hand-picked crew of elite soldiers and scientists from which one day our descendants will strike back and reclaim the earth the exit paleobiologists have a latin name for this new breed of flying cryptid the rest of us call them gargoyles. The ancestors' airborne assault troops. Silent, fast, invisible to radar, strong enough to rip the tail boom off an Apache gunship. They dominate the airspace over our cities and launch facilities. We'll never get off the ground if we can't find a way to break through. Paleo by the cortex, the ace up our sleeve. The preserved brain tissue of a living ancestor in a casing designed for transporting donor organs. I don't pretend to understand the science. It sucks up bioelectric energy, stores it like a psychic battery, then detonates like a neutron bomb. They say the radiation is harmless to humans. I doubt that. But when the pulse is focused and amplified, it'll flash fire cryptid's brain in less than a second. The Ancestors. Our people have been studying the data collected during the Ark Raid, but we still don't know exactly what we're up against. They possess both telepathic and telekinetic abilities. Their physical bodies are relatively fragile, but they can project a powerful gravimetric field to deflect attacks and perhaps even levitate. We suspect the Ancestors are virtually impervious to small arms fire while the field is active. It's possible that the experimental weaponry Archer developed can even the odds. The, An the Colorado Ark was only one of dozens, perhaps hundreds, of ancestor strongholds. The citadels of a prehistoric empire that once spanned the globe, and will soon do so again. We lost Washington in the first eight hours. San Antonio, Colorado Springs, every military center in North America annihilated. The president is dead. I'm in command of what's left of the United States. We are overrun and surrender is not an option. There is only one refuge left, beyond the enemy's reach. This is David Archer. I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. You've got it wrong about a lot of things, like Samantha Cross. She's a sleeper. A double agent. Everything that's happened, everything that's about to happen aboard your space station, it's all part of the plan. Their plan, General. Not yours. They left me for dead once. Later, they saved my life. We're on the same side now, but I'm not the same person. Maybe not even human anymore. I can sense their fear. They're wondering if they should kill me. <laughs> it's a bit late for that. Samantha Cross died months ago on a cold night in Alaska. repeats itself. One species falls, another rises to take its place. Countless lives were sacrificed 
so that a chosen few might be saved. They believed my power could make the difference between survival and extinction. They were right. <laughs>